Barack Obama swept to a historic victory, winning the White House after a record turnout of American voters. I'm Kelsey Hubbard, joined now by Professor David Epstein, Professor of Political Science at Columbia University. David, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. So let's take a look at this. Uh, putting politics aside for a moment, um, mm -hmm. no matter who people voted for, Republicans or Democrats, this is a historic moment that we have our first African-American president. Tell me how you see this um, as a professor of politics and political mm -hmm. science. Um, what does this mean? Well, in one way, this was a normal Democratic victory. If you take the electoral map from four years ago and add 4% everywhere, you basically get this year's map. So it was just a good Democratic year, fueled by a very unpopular president and the financial meltdown. But of course, the fact that it was a victory by an African American who won with that map, including three states of the Confederacy, is just unbelievable. I, I did not think I would see it in my lifetime. So you might say he didn't redraw the political maps, but he did change the landscape. And he certainly did in terms of, of, of certain states, um, you know, winning states like uh, Virginia and took some of the Midwest, um, Florida and Ohio. I mean, these mm -hmm. are GOP strongholds that he was able to sort of make inroads to. Um, and so what does that tell us about campaigns going forward? What will, what will sort of take from this in terms of everyone saying we're just red states and blue states? Well, yeah, well, hopefully we can end that a little bit. There's, you know, there are states that lean one way or the other, like there's always been in American politics. But the economy matters, foreign policy matters, all these things that we care about policy-wise really do matter. And so there's a lot of states that can swing either way. And I hope we think of ourselves as more purple now than, than red or blue. The other thing, of course, is that he's redrawn the political fundraising landscape. He did it with lots and lots of very small contributions. He outraised the Republicans by a large amount, and nobody thought a Democrat could do that. And so that will change things. I was going to say, I mean, it used to be that people would look at who could win the race by how much money somebody could raise and how much they were backed by sort of deep pockets in, in a way. And now that's changed. It was sort of the, the trickle up uh, version of, mm -hmm. of this in the sense that each little donation really contributed to the whole, which allowed him to you know, achieve this. Exactly. And he had a system and he had you know a great online uh, website that not only let you give but made it easy to connect with other people. Now, of course, that will be adopted in the future. Nothing succeeds like success. And so I think that will become more of what every candidate will do. Uh, but the message matters, right? The ability to get lots and lots of small de donations really was because he was the right messenger with the right message at the time uh, and able to sell himself as, as an agent of change. So I think we will see differences. What, in closing, what surprised you the most about this election? And what do you think that um, the country, the process will take from this and that we'll see in the future that will be changed? Well, I think that people won't go in with the assumptions that they had before. I think the idea of who can win, what, you know, what a winner has to look like, and the normal rules of American politics have been turned on their head. Uh, I think it's going to be wide open, and I think it shows uh, that either party, if you know, they embrace a consistent message, if they're true to it, and if they work hard to get out their voters all over the country, uh, then you can have even big swings now. People talk about the ossification of politics, and this smashed right through it. I think that uh, the future is wide open. Yeah, it was great to see so many lines out there of people getting involved in the process. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've been speaking with Professor David Epstein of Columbia University. I'm Kelsey Hubbard in New York.